let's go over our next compound object that would be loft and I have here loft is a tricky one okay because you have many ways to do the same thing and uh, in a compound object uh, I'm going to start with the circle and this is going to become my my compound object my loft and it asks me to get a path and automatically it extrudes this circle over that path what you do with this loft object is that you can have different sections along this path and uh, and you have here a percentage from 0 to, to 100 so let's say at 50 percent I want to pick um, the this object and now you see here that it becomes a hexagon okay and let's say a hundred percent I want uh, the shape to be the rectangular And let's say, let's say I put less steps on the shape. Okay, and you can see quite clearly that it goes from a, sorry, mistake there. It goes from a circle to a hexagon to a, a, a rectangle. So if I would actually go back to, to each shape, let's say actually, sorry, go back to this shape and I um, change it to seven sides it actually changed my loft if I go back to rec the rectangle and I change the dimensions of this rectangle it changed my loft if I go back to my curve and I change it it also changes so for animations it could be uh, a lot of fun but of course you have to keep it simple um, uh, also you can uh, absolutely all this this uh, arrow arrow values you can animate so I can tell the loft that this uh, section here the rectangle it's on 70% and not 100 you just have to get creative